Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Flash Professional 8. In this tutorial we're going to go over sound, specifically importing and placing the sound. By the end you should have advanced knowledge with how to import sound files and incorporate them into your Flash files. Importing and placing a sound is extremely easy with Flash 8. Uh, it, just, it merely involves just a couple of steps and adjusting the sound is a is a totally different story you know flash does allow you to make some adjustments to the loudness or the level of uh, your sound files as well as um, uh, repeat them a certain amount of times you know and uh, you uh, what you do first and foremost is you have to import that is if you want to edit and you want to associate it with the timeline you have to import your file into the flash authoring environment itself okay now this is totally different than um, you know putting in a piece of action script and what happens is your flash movie file plays but the only time that uh, the flash movie gets a hold of the audio file is when your script tells it to and then flash will draw that uh, or import that file then okay but when that happens you're not allowed or you can't edit it uh, at any point it merely just plays and um, considering what your action script looks like then it could stop it could fast forward uh, you know repeat and, and different things like that but basically when I say importing and placing your uh, your audio into your your flash movie what I mean by that is you are going into the flash authoring environment and then clicking on file import and we want to import to the library okay navigate to your audio file mine was on my desktop it's gonna be wherever you want on your on your computer okay and within the library you see the audio file appear and you can tell it's audio by the icon on the left and also in the preview window you can um, uh, you can preview the sound okay all right and just like that we have imported our file into our flash authoring environment you know, at that point, uh, you might want to go ahead and save your file just so you don't have to import it again. Because whenever you have, um, you know, really huge files, whether it's songs or background audio, um, it may take a while considering, you know, the power of your computer. It may take a while to actually import. But anyways, um, once we have it imported, now we can associate this with a keyframe on our timeline. Okay, doesn't matter what keyframe it is, all we need to do is click on the keyframe and then open up your properties inspector. Okay, I need to minimize this because I can't click on this particular box. All right, and any sound file, uh, doesn't matter if it's an MP3 or if it's a WAV file or if it's an AIFF for. Um, uh, for Macintosh users, every single audio file will be listed right here in a li in this list. Okay. Now the Boxing Bell is the only audio file that I have, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Okay. And there we go. Congratulations. The file has been placed onto a keyframe. So now, if we were to test out our movie, we would hear the sound. Okay. Now, obviously when you have a uh, sound associated with a keyframe uh, your flash movie has to be as long as the sound is okay if it's not then you're just gonna have a sound that cuts off about halfway through so that's not what we want to do we want to make sure that um, that the flash movie is as long as the sound file is and of course let's insert a keyframe here and put a stop in there so our playhead stops and doesn't repeat and we'll in 
insert a frame here, oops, right here, and test our movie again. Okay, and there we go. So you can do this with, uh, with background audio as long as it's on its own layer. Uh, you can't have two audio files associated with the same keyframe. All right? They have to be on their very own layer. Okay? It's not a good idea to keep it on your actions layer as well. I was just using this as an example. Okay? But uh, just have it on its very own layer. Label it, um, or label the layer if you wish. Label uh, the frame, or give the frame a label, excuse me. Uh, do whatever you want to with it as long as the sound file is associated with a keyframe that's on its own layer. Okay, that's always good practice. Alright, so by now you should have advanced knowledge with how to import a sound file uh, into the Flash authoring environment and putting it or associating it with one of the keyframes. So thank you very much for watching TutorPipes tutorials.